Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about area under the normal curve. So without further ado, I'll get started. Normal distribution. A random variable x follows a normal distribution such that probability of x, which is the random variable, is between 9.6 and 13.8 inclusive is 0 0.7008. And probability of x greater or equal to 9.6 is 0.8195. Find the mean and variance of the normal random variable x. So I indicate the problem with the bell shape and normal distribution. At the center on the horizontal axis is mu which we do not know. We also do not know sigma, the standard deviation of the normal distribution, but we know the area between under the normal curve between 9.6 and 13.8 is 0 0.7008. Uh, we also know probability of X greater or equal to 9.6 is 0.8195. So what is the probability of X, the random variable greater than 13.8? It is 0.8195 minus 0 0.7008, which is 0 0.1187, okay? So we know the probability under the normal curve for X greater than 13.8. Similarly, we can find out what is the probability for the random variable X less than 9.6. Since we know the probability of X greater than equal to 9.6 is 0.8195, and the total area under the curve is one. So probability of X, the random variable being less than 9.6, which is the area under the normal curve between negative infinity on the left-hand side and 9.6 is one minus 0.8195 or 0.1805. Thus, we can, if we convert the above normal distribution to standard normal variable curve Z or standard normal curve Z, we get at the center instead of mu, where mu is located, Z is equal to zero. And we know two areas. We know for X less than 9.6, which is we indicate in the standard normal variable as Z1, Z1 probability of Z1 less than Z1, which corresponds to 9.6, X less than 9.6 uh, is 0 0.1805. Similarly, Z2, which corresponds to 13.8, probability of X greater than 13.8 is 0.1187. So we indicate 9.6 by the standard normal variable Z1, and we indicate Z, uh, the standard normal variable Z2 corresponding to X2 equal to 13.8. We also know the definition of the standard normal variable Z, which is X, that is a normal variable minus mean of the distribution divided by standard deviation. That is Z indicates how many standard deviations above the mean if Z is positive or below the mean if Z is negative, the variable normal random variable X is. So if Z is positive, it's above the mean. If Z is negative, it is below the mean. So we will plug in the value of X in each case, Z1 is equal to 9.6 minus mu divided by sigma, which we do not know. And Z2 is equal to 13.8 minus mu divided by sigma, which we do not know. The question is how to find mu and sigma. This will come up in part two of this problem, which is coming up. So please check that out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. And please subscribe to my channel. Stat guru, because I come back, math guru actually, I come back every week and solve different kinds of math problems. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button, which is in the bottom right corner of the screen. Take care, have a nice time, and I will see you next time.